Hello, my friends, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, today's an exciting day for some people. Those of you who remember Lollipop Chainsaw, the remake or remaster, sorry, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is coming out. Here you have from Yasuda D5. We have finally been able to release Lollipop Chainsaw Repop uncensored. I am proud that we have been able to revive Lollipop Chainsaw, a cult game that had been lying dormant due to copyright issues as a modern action game. The core content of Repop is an original mode that faithfully recreates the original version's scenario, script, gore expressions, cutscene direction, character design, motion, comic style, character introduction images, costumes, achievements, etc. On the other hand, for those game users who are not so keen on gore, we have also prepared the repop mode, which expresses damage effects in a pop art style. So we hope you give Lollipop Chainsaw Repop a try. And it's releasing on PlayStation 5, Xbox, Switch, and Steam. Now, part of the exciting thing about this game is that it was actually set to launch two weeks later. So they actually moved the launch date up two weeks and released sooner, which is kind of a rare thing today. We're going to go ahead and give the trailer a watch. Lollipop Chainsaw allows players to select original mode, which is based on the original release, or repop mode, which has less violence and uses pop art damage effects. This trailer uses in-game footage from repop mode, so don't expect a whole bunch of gore here. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the uh, the heart shooting out of him, I'd definitely rather see blood. The characters definitely look fun. Lewis instead of Elvis. That's funny. And you can tell they decided to move up the date, obviously, since that's at September 25th and it's now the 12th. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a colorful and interesting game. I have to wonder if they felt that taking away some of that gore was going to help them. I don't know. Doesn't really seem to do it for me. And in more exciting news, and for the PC users, this will make you really excited. To all Steam users, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is the nouveau free. That means... No nasty anti-cheat system on a single-player game that doesn't need it digging into your system files. In my opinion, that's the best news of all. You might be wondering what are people saying, since by the time I recorded this video and let it out, it will have been out for a little bit. Well, the most interesting part of this, they either didn't give out game codes early for reviewers, or they embargoed it so they couldn't actually review it, uh, review it yet. However... There are already two reviews, one posted September 6th, 
The other's supposed to post September 10th. If I refresh, let's see if anything comes up. Nope, still just the two. Lollipop Chainsaw Reprop brings the beloved 2012 zombie slaying classic back with smoother combat and new content. Protagonist Juliet Starling's journey mixes humor and action, though the game's placing is slowed by overly long stages and gimmicky minigames. While the boss fights underwhelm, the satisfying upgrade system and campy charm make it worth revisiting. The remake introduces quality of life improvements and additional cosmetic options for players to enjoy. And that is a 70 from Noisy Pixel. Uh, and then you have Area Jugones. I, I'm not sure how that's said. Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is the perfect example of how a remaster should be done. It respects the source material, significantly improves the technical aspects, and adds content that fans will appreciate. It's a game that understands its identity and fully embraces it, offering an experience that is both nostalgic and fresh. And they gave it a 77. Well, apparently here's another one from Pure Xbox. Don't get us wrong, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is a fun fling from start to finish, but it was never really a role model student when it arrived on the scene in 2012. Despite the enhancements and improvements in this latest release, the core gameplay and level design can feel quite outdated at times, and the chapter-breaking bugs have been hard to look past. If Dragami's updates resolve these glitches, or if you're just a longtime fan of this one, Maybe consider giving the zombie slayer an extra star for her effort, and they only gave it a 60. Now, as I recall, Lollipop Chainsaw, while being an extremely interesting and quirky game to play, I never played it myself, and I was thinking about getting it. We'll see. Wasn't exactly like a mega hit back in the day. So let's take a look at what the Metacritic score on the original was. And it looks like it was a 70 or about a 7.1, which honestly sounds about where it should be. The interesting thing, though, is that there are so few reviews from critics, whether that's because they don't want to play it since it's a remake or they don't want to play it because of the content. We don't know yet. This will be interesting to discover in the future. On August 6th, IGN had published an article talking about the fact that it was launching early and did go through and mention the fact that they only gave it a 5 out of 10, saying that it doesn't really try to differentiate itself from the genre. And most of what it does try new in the realms of characters and writing ultimately takes away from an incredible on-paper action game. Which, honestly, that sentence, if it's an incredible on-paper, then obviously it should be trying to differentiate itself. But that's, that's a separate issue. Of course, IGN isn't going to be a big fan of this game. Another publisher... Jimatsu, has put out a breakdown of basically everything they've added, changed, kept. Some of these include things like updates to resolution and frame rate, PS5 and Series X and Steam support 4K and 60 frames per second. Switch is high de full high definition and 30 frames with shorter load, t load times. A whole bunch of improvements. And I mean, it's, it's quite a list. I will have this in the description if you want to check that out. And of course, after this sh shift up claims of being uncensored, people are seriously questioning the idea that the game is in fact being released uncensored. Here you have Learning the Law at Mangalorier, who is going through and tracking down what differences he can find. Of course, the first one is they seem to have tweaked her standing animation. Now, personally, as someone who has breasts, I find... The old movement, a little unrealistic. It looks a lot like she has a pair of water balloons strapped to her chest. So I'm fine with the fact that they changed them to be a little more normal. But of course, a lot of people will consider that censorship and that will make or break the game for them. Now he is tagging to hopefully get some information from the developer, but I wouldn't anticipate hearing too much about it. He has, if you think performance is more important, there are claims the Switch version should include an option for 720p as it's struggling a bit. The same goes for the Steam Deck, which lacks graphics options. Aside from that, everything else is great. Uh, he says that 4K is also struggling on high-end GPUs, probably a patching coming. But to this point, those are really the only things he's commented on. I'm sure if there's more, it will definitely pop up on the internet. The game has still only been released for a couple hours, so there's still plenty of time to find something. That said, in the time it's released, it's already managed to beat Concord's highest peak number. 738 people playing versus the 697 that was Concord's peak previous to its closure. Even now that the peak for it has climbed to 801, I imagine as the days go on, 
that will increase a little and then decrease a little. I wouldn't anticipate this game selling quite like others just based on the fact alone that it really was a cult classic and not a traditional classic. It's going to be a niche game that has an audience, but it is not a huge audience. So there is definitely that going for it. And finally, if you are looking at getting it and something in here has has helped you decide that you are in fact going to get it, Repop Steam version is now available for a limited time of two weeks from today. We will be offering a 10% discount on the sales price as an early purchase bonus, which means instead of $49.99, it's $40.99. So you can save four bucks in the event you decide to make the purchase. That said, whether or not it's fully uncensored, we don't know yet. Are the changes good? Are they bad? We'll find out in the future. But honestly, the fact that it doesn't have de novo and it's not a hugely expensive game, it sounds like it's at least mostly true to the original. I think it's kind of cool. So let me know what you think. Are you playing it? Do you know if there are any changes? I'd be curious to see what you think. Is the fact that her breasts don't jiggle like a waterbed a big deal to you? I've already said what what I think about that personally. But let me hear from you down in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Uh, If you really liked it, you can feel free to share it around, and I will catch you later.